Hey guys, it's John P. I am at NAB continuing our coverage and we're going to take a cool look at a neat product from G-Rig. Okay guys, I'm excited about this one. Actually, I've got Wolfgang here with me. Hey, thank you. I pulled him. I just told him I'm just shoving you on camera. So he's a trooper. He's being brave. It's no big deal. <laughs> But uh, so you guys, G-Rig, I've never heard of G-Rig. Is this a new company? G-Rig is a new company. Yes, that's correct. We're based in Vienna in Austria. Oh. Uh, we, we wanted to build a gimbal for ourselves that does exactly what we needed. And that's what we did. And then we found it's uh, working, it's working so good that uh, we're going to go. Might as well sell it. Uh, we, yeah, we got to Las Vegas because it must be a nice place. <laughs> nice. And here we are. Okay, so for people who don't know, because these things are relatively new, we've covered them a little bit, but a gimbal is used, let's say if I was going to carry a camera and I wanted to run down the street, but I want the camera to be really steady, yes. then we use this because it's got a series of like motors and computers and it kind of stabilizes itself, right? That's absolutely correct. Okay. There, are, there are motors, there's a controller, it's an electronic system that stabilizes your camera on three axes. Okay, excellent. Now, now that we've got that out of the way, this thing just looks awesome, doesn't it? I mean, it's got like carbon fiber everywhere and there's like little orange stripes in here and all kinds of just wrapped cables. It's just cool looking to start with. Thank you, thank you very much. We focused on functionality first, <laughs> uh -huh. and then we focused and then on the. made on it a, sexy. Correct. Nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about how this thing actually works. And I have seen a few others. Some people will have seen a few other rigs. So tell me about kind of what are the things that you guys really found useful when you were building it, things you cared about most? Well, first of all, we didn't want to use helicopter batteries with fiddly plugs where you can pull out the cables of the plugs. Yeah. We wanted to use serious batteries in a that's film a, business. That's a big battery. It's, it's a big battery, but uh, there are a lot of many devices on that system uh, yeah. which you might want to power up with this one battery. It's a V-mount battery known in the market. Oh. Uh, there's so it's a, a standard battery. We could use this on the back of a camera or something like that's, that. That's absolutely correct. And if you already have a V-mount battery, you might want to use your own. Good to go. We include one in the bundle, of course, and nice. in, in the charger. So you put in the battery up here. Okay, right here. Right here. Now the battery looks like it's got a bunch of cables coming out of it. Uh, actually, it's not the battery itself. It's the voltage converter, which uh, oh. we have uh, back there. Oh, we so have... you're not just taking it right out of the battery. You're doing something with the power. Right, right. We have three individual voltage converters. Uh, we can set up the voltages to your liking. At the so moment, that's we... where I see it's got 5 volt, 2.7, 12 volt, and through, through, pass through, I guess? Pass through, that's correct. That's a full uh, battery voltage. When it's full, 16.8 volts going down to 14.8 when it's almost empty. Uh, we convert the voltages here to a, to a, to a linear 5 volts, 7.2 and 12 volts for your Paralinks, your, your Blackmagic camera, your, and we provide all these cables flexible enough uh, to power up all the gear. So here. that when we're moving the thing around and it's kind of stabilizing itself, right. the cables aren't too tight, they're just the right length and right. all that. Right, that's, that's correct. Okay, so... Can you show us how it works? How does it, what do you do with this thing? First of all, you take it off the stand. All right. And you see a gimbal now, which is turned off. And that's okay. very, very important to so us. you do not have it turned on right now. At the moment, it's turned and so off. So the camera's kind of a little, maybe a little, oh, wow, that really moves easily. It moves easily because we have fantastic bearings, very, very strong bearings, because we want to mount up to 13 pounds of camera weight wow. and, and lens and additional equipment. And the most important uh, thing for a gimbal is it needs to work uh, perfectly fine. Even, oh, it has to be balanced. Even turned off. It has to be balanced. Just like a steady cam, for example, if correct. I was wearing a steady yeah. cam. Okay. Yeah, correct. So when we mount our camera on here, first thing we have to do is we go through a balancing procedure. That's that's correct. Okay. And we focused on the, the the quick release mount at the bottom of the camera, which uh, provides a two axis uh, linear motion where you know don't need any tools, so you can slide for the camera forwards and backwards and left right. Okay. So when you change the lens, it just takes a couple of seconds to weigh it in. Oh, if good. you take a completely different camera, it might take a couple of minutes to weigh it in, of course, uh, but uh, there's a quick release. Okay, cool. Okay, so now you're going to turn it on, right? How do you turn it on? There's a, there's a switch at one side. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
And the good thing is you can hold it steady when you turn it on, give it a couple of seconds to find the position. Now it's working. It kind of initializes. Oh, now all of a sudden I see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's sexy. Oh, brother. Follow mode on two axes. And, oh, of course, the wild thing that yeah. nobody actually does in real life. But we need to do it here to show how the gimbal works. Well, now, when you moved, so you're con if you move a little bit left to right, it stays pointing forward. Exactly. But now, if you wanted to point it like at Ken, you just keep moving and it somehow intelligently knows that you wanted it to that's, go that way? That's correct. Is that a setting? Like, do you set, like, or is just it's just smart enough to know? But there's a setting for the speed of the follow mode, how, how fast it follows. There's also a setting on the smoothness of the follow. Uh -huh. And there's also kind of a dead band. So when I, when I use it for a couple of degrees, it's not doing anything. And these are all values you can set up in the, in okay. the app. So like if I was, like you and I might have personal preferences. You may want it a little tighter, yeah. I may want it a little looser. And we can tune it for our own individual usage. That's correct. And we take the Android or iOS app. Here it oh, is. Oh, nice. We, we've got. Uh, by the way, we've got Clemens here. Who's you're the you're the man. You're the the big boss inventor dude, right? Uh, actually, he's uh, more tall than me. Oh well, that's <laughs> true. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. <laughs> yeah, we got an we got an app uh, where you can set up different follow modes. Uh, you can free adjust your your own setups. Uh, you can choose on which direction the camera is following you. The system is following you, and. Uh, you uh, have three different modes where, where you can, which you can choose uh, and easily uh, choose this mode. Uh, you also can uh, adjust the speed. Nice. Where, uh, how, how fast does this uh, system follow your natural movement? You can store up uh, your uh, individual setups on this app oh. and uh, recall it. Uh, so we could have one for John, one for Cali, one for Ken, whatever. Yeah, that's it. Uh, also for different camera models with different kind of uh, lenses and we did this app not just for Android we also did it for iOS which is really nice <clears throat> and we took care a lot uh, we took care a lot uh, about the design because uh, usually cameramen have their smartphones with them and uh, with the smartphone you need a small you have a small screen and you still have uh, to have the ability to uh, to touch the buttons, to find right. the buttons, so right. it's scalable. You know, I'm really very distracted at the moment because Wolfgang's come over here with some kind of contraption. <laughs> He's got a, a backpack thing with a with a stand and a strap on it. Let me guess. Yeah, this is going to take the weight off of uh, yeah. your arms for that thing. But not all of the weight. We we don't want to take all of the weight off because you want the flexibility uh, to move the gimbal around. So uh, we actually have. Uh, Two different, two different rods, which we can slide in there with two different stiffnesses, oh. uh, different lengths of uh, plastic tubes uh, to support more or less weight. Gotcha. And in this configuration, it takes off about 40 to 50 percent, okay. uh, which is all right in eye level. En enough to give you a lot more endurance. That's correct. And you got a big hook right there on the yeah. handle. So you take it off, wrap it in, and you see, in this level, it supports 100 percent of the weight. In typical eye level, Oh, that's right. Typical eye level, it supports about 40 to 50 percent. And of course, if you go up, it doesn't support anything. Yeah. But at yeah. least you can do it. Yeah. That is amazing. Okay, guys. I, I mean, we could go all day. Oh, God. Even, oh, my God. Wait. I saw you playing with that, but what is this? We got this remote where you have full control on three axes. So you see what I do with the camera now. So when you are on intercom, uh, with your uh, with your cameraman, which is running, you have the full direction mode. Uh, you can pan, tilt, you can roll, you can do everything what you want. So that if you have unbelievable, you have yeah. If you have wireless video transmission, you can sit somewhere and just and do the you picture could be, framing. You yeah. could be the cameraman. Yes. Basically, he's like your car or your helicopter. Yeah. It's just strapped to a human yeah, exactly. while you, you are control. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. You guys, that is so okay. How much? Uh, I know everybody's like drooling right now, and they want one. So, how much is it going to cost? So what? The, the, there are different pieces here. You, you run you, us through that. You got the battery. You got the dual charger. Yeah. Uh, you got the system. You got the stand. Yeah. You got the remote control. You got the free app. You got one cable to power up your camera, and this is all for eleven thousand nine hundred U.S. dollars. No, but how much is the remote control? No, it's included. It's included in the, battery. <laughs> the battery. Charger, 
the charger. The system, remote, the stand. Yeah. And if you order now at the <laughs> NFB, <laughs> you uh, get a free, also, uh, yeah, yeah. Get a free win. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is amazing, guys. I'm, I am totally blown away, completely impressed. Okay, guys, G Rig, and they could, where do they go to get one? Uh, so we uh, have we opened our online shop. We have uh, delivery time for estimated 90 days. We have a lot of conversation with dealers, local dealers. They want one. So you also uh, have to have um, to be sure that you have good uh, production support yeah, of course. here, and we will provide this in the future. So okay. we are working hard to do it, and I think. The last point, what we what we like to say, it's handcrafted in Austria. Yes. So we take care a lot of high quality. Nice. Okay, guys, you can't get them just yet. I'm gonna get one before you. I promise you that. But we will let you know as soon as they are available, so you know where you can go and get them. So stay tuned. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube. You guys subscribe on iTunes. All that other good stuff. For the guys at G Rig and me, I'm John P. We're out of here. See you later.